Hello and welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy, and today's project we've created this beautiful Peruvian dream necklace. And I think you'll agree it's just simply quite stunning. It's using the full tillers and the 4mm Swarovski crystals and we've also placed a nice little bead button for the fastening. So for our Peruvian Dream necklace, we're going to work with the eight pound fire line and I've got a 50 yard reel here. In beads, I've got the beautiful size 15 Mayuki Delicas and I've got the full tillers. This is the yellow Picasso color. As well as that, I've got the beautiful four millimeter Grige Swarovski crystals and then just a basic starter bead, which is just a plain um, six millimeter round bead. We'll also be working with size 10 needles and a pair of precision scissors to complete the project. So I shall show you how we're going to get started. I've pre-threaded my size 10 needle with about two and a half meters of fire line to get us started. But if you need to, follow our jewelry guide on a half hitch knot if you need to actually add any extra thread as we're going through the project. I don't work with masses to start with because you just end up with a lot of thread um, as you're going round. So I'm just going to place my starter bead onto the thread and I'm going to bring that to the bottom leaving about a 20 centimetre length of fire line. So I've come out the top here and I'm just going to loop back up through the bead and position that, like I say, about 20 centimetres. So I'm just securing that bead into place and then I'm going to start with my first tiller bead. So I'm going to go through the right so the left hand hole of the tiller with my thread and up to the through the top so that's that like so on the thread I'm then going to take the thread so through the right hand hole this time from top to bottom coming out of the bottom of the tiller So the thread's looped through like so. I'm just going to pop that down so you can see that. And then we're going to take a second tiller bead and we're going through the left hand hole as well on this one. I'm going to now use the needle to go back and loop through the first tiller and bring it round again. So we're going to go up through the second tiller. So you can see that's positioned now next to the first one we used. And I'm going to take this thread, I'll try and do this as clear as possible. So I'm going through the top of the first tiller and the right hand hole. So that's going to come through and down out of the bottom. So that's the first tiller and you'll see it pulls in the second one so it sits next to the first. So it's looped through, so up and then round. And then I'm going to go back with the needle through the first left on the second tiller. And then that will get the tension correct. So we're building that all up so that they're going to sit next to each other. As the project continues, we actually reinforce this all the way along. So it pulls it all in nice and tight and the tensions aren't a problem. So that's the first two. Now I'm going to take the needle back through the second tiller on the right hand hole and out through the bottom. And as you can see, they're now sitting next to each other. And then onto the third. So the same again. We've come out the bottom of the second, so we're going 
from the bottom to the top on the third. Obviously they do spin round, but I'm saying left hand hold to make it easier. So we've got that down. The thread's looping up through, and then we're gonna go back through the right hand hole. And pull that in to sit next to. So I'll just repeat this for a few more, but I'm just copying that same action so we're getting a strand of tillers that are gonna go round our necklace. I'm just gonna show the finished piece to show you how that looks. So obviously they're gonna go along and afterwards we get to the embellishment part on the necklace. So we've got three here. I just need to come back up through that left hand hole again and pull my thread. So we've got the tension correct. So we've got three there, back through the right hand hole and down. And then onto our fourth tiller. And then back, so left, sorry, right hand hole on the third tiller. And we're gonna pull that so it sits next to it. And then back up through. I'm just gonna continue that just to show you again as we progress. And then we'll move on to the next section of the make. For a 16 inch necklace, and that does include the fastening section as well, I've used 78 tiller beads. Uh, and that works out for my grading as well, so I get the section that's longer in the middle. If that's a guide for you, and that will give you a 16 inch necklace, including the length of the fastener on there as well. So you just progress and get your full 78 tillers for 16 inch or more if you require a longer length on your necklace. So now I'll show you the next step on that one. So we've got to our last tiller on the strand and we've got all the tiles in a row. I've come out of the bottom left hand and I'm just going to go up through the top of the last tiller on the right hand hole. So we've got our thread coming out the top now and we're going to add our fastener. So onto this I'm going to thread seven of the tiny seed beads. So we're just going to put seven seed beads onto our beading needle. So this is one side of our fastening. So I've got seven seed beads on and then I'm going to thread on the Euconite bead. So this is a semi-precious stone. So I'm just gonna pop that onto the beading needle as well. Take that all the way back down towards the tiller bead. I'm just gonna bring that in. So that's that at the end of the tiller. So seven seed beads, Euconite bead, and then three more seed beads onto your beading needle. Got three more seed beads on. Now we're going to take them down to the Euconite bead. So that's what it looks like when that's threaded. 
and then the needle is going to come back but we're not going to go through the three we've just added we're just going to go through the euconite bead and the first tiny seed bead here so we've got six on the opposite side so through the euconite bead and your tiny seed bead with the beading needle as well like so and then you're going to pull that through jigging going on. So I'm just pulling that tension tight to show you. So six seed beads but we've come out through the seventh on this side and we've got the three above the euconite as well. And then I'm going to add six onto this side to finish the clasp. So we're just going to pop six seed beads. So I've got three, four, five, six on the needle and this time we're going to go back up through the right hand hole on the last tiller and you're going to pull that through so I've pulled my tension in I know that that's now sitting all well and at this point we're actually going to go round the whole lot again with the beading needle. So where my needles come out from now, so this can be a bit fiddly and you need to make sure that your needle doesn't, and I'm just going to do this on purpose, doesn't pop out at any point because you need to go all the way through all of the beads including the seventh one and then I'm going to come up and out And then I'm going to take my needle and go back through those two. So if you want to do it all in one or you want to make sure and do it carefully, step by step, that you've got every bead. And then back through the euconite and the opposite side. So I'm going to come out, make sure I've got that seventh one. And then through. So this reinforces that section of the fastener because we've been through twice now. And then we're ready to progress onto putting our fancy drops. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through once again the right hand hole of the tiller bead. So I'm coming out at the top there. So we're ready to create our first drop. So this is going to give us this section here on the beautiful Peruvian dream necklace. So we're going to add six, sorry, five seed beads onto our beading needle. So two, three, four, five seed beads. And then we're going to also take up one of our Swarovski crystals. So pop the crystal on there as well. And three more seed beads. So we've got five crystal and then three. And I'm going to take that down to the tiller. So all the beads are going to go to the tiller bead there. And then we're going to go back through the crystal. So very similar to how we did the fastener. So through the crystal and the fifth seed bead. So through the crystal and the fifth bead. And then you're going to take your needle off to the side. And then you're going to pull that all in to make sure your tension is correct as well. Pulling that nice and tight. And then on this side, we're going to add four seed beads. Two, three, four. 
and we're going to go up through the left hand hole on the tiller. So we're going to go up and out. creating our drop. You can play with the tension and make sure you're happy with it. And at this point we're going to add the embellishment for the top section. So this is going to give us our little loop section at the top here. Right. So we're going to add three seed beads onto our beading needle and then you're going to go back down through the right hand of the tiller and also through all the drop section so we come back out on here where we start repeating the next drop so I'm going to go down and like I say just make sure all the time that your needle goes through all of the beads we don't want to miss any so I find it easier to come up through the first section and then work my way back down. So I'm going to go through those seed beads independently and then the crystal. Make sure you catch that fifth seed bead on that side as well and then through the four on the opposite side. So I've just come out to the side there and instead of making it awkward for myself I'm just going to pull that section and then go back up those remaining three. And then I'm coming out of the top of the tiller, but don't go through any of the seed beads on the three at the top. So we're going to bring that through, and I will show you how that's sitting now. Okay, so we've had added our fastener, and now we've got our first drop on there as well. And my thread's coming out here. As you work round, all the tension will pull itself in as well. So I'm now going to do my second one. And we're actually going to create 20 drops with 5 and 3. And then we move up and scale it so we get larger as we go on. So we're just going to go back down with our needle. So the thread's coming out the bottom. And there we pick up our five seed beads. Five. Crystal. And three. bead and then we're going to go up just as we did before through the crystal and the fifth bead on our row come back up and add our four seed beads pinged one off so just always double check so I've definitely got the four there and we're going to go back up and through oh dear so my thread just looped over the euconite bead there just make sure that that doesn't happen as it's a bit weakly and if you've got longer lengths that can also happen so we've got our two drops there and now for the three across the embellishment at the top Two, three, and then back down and up again. So we're doing two loops on all of them, two loops round. Oh dear, come out of the wrong hole. Right, so I've made sure everything's gone where it's ought to. And then we're going to go back across those two seed beads as well.
So that's our second five drop on that one. So you're just going to continue and we're going to create 20 drops. So 20 of the tillers will have the five drops down. So five beads for 20 tillers. And that's how you'll continue for the next 20 steps on this one. So we've progressed a bit from where we were just at. So we've got our Euconite fastener. And then, as you can see, I've done the 20 drops. I've just marked that with the needle. So that was 20 drops with the five seed beads and the three and the four on this side. Now what we're wanting to do is create a graded effect. So the necklace is going to get longer as we get towards the center and then smaller towards the side. Like so. So we're going back to our fives. So once we've got to this stage, okay, so we've done our 20 drops and now we get to, I've just marked this with the needle, and then we've got three tiller beads and these three tiller beads we've got seven seed beads going down. After those three with the seven you're doing a section of three with nine seed beads. We've then got a next section again three and this is eleven so eleven seed beads. Then we're on to three more with fifteen so the drops are just growing by two and then three with 17. The middle section we've just got the two with 19 drops. You can find this on our seed bead guides so it gives you the exact measurements for the drops. So I'll just run through it once more. So we had 20 drops with fives, three sevens, three nines, three elevens, three fifteens, three with 17 and two with 19. You then start reversing that so you go back on the second side so we get smaller again so going down in exactly the same order all the way back to your 20 with the five seed beads and that will bring us up to our fastener and I'll show you how to attach that now. So this is our starting point, obviously you'll have your drops here now, all the way up to the end. And then we're going to remove the starting bead that was on here. We don't need that now. So we're going to just take that off and thread our beading needle onto this thread that we left at the start. So we've now reached the end of the drops that we've done and we're connecting our next section of fastener and this will attach to the euconite that we added on the other end. So in this example obviously I've not got the drops there on, on this section but I'm just going to show you how to make the loop and how to secure that. So I'm going to add five seed beads onto my beading needle two, three, four, five seed beads and then I'm going to thread one of the four millimeter crystals also. Now above the crystal I need 27 seed beads to make my loop, so this section here. So I'm going to use 27 seed beads. So I've threaded my 27 and I'm just going to take them down to the crystal and now I want to go through the crystal and the first, so the fifth bead, so the bead next to the crystal. So I'm just going to take my thread and needle and go through and then I'm going to bring that and pull that tension in nice and tight. we've created our loop and then I need a further four beads onto the opposite side 
So four seed beads. And then I'm gonna go back on the opposite side of the tiller with my needle. So I'm coming out this side. And at this point, we're gonna make a loop around all of that again. So we're reinforcing this fastener. So I'm back out at the side that we started and I'm going to go up through the first five and the crystal. Make sure you've got your needle through all of them. And if I can, I will take this through a row of the seed beads here. Sometimes when you get to the curve point, it's easier to stop and then take the needle back through each section just so you know you've got all of the beads. So I'm just going to work carefully around this bit making sure I've got them all. So I'm just reinforcing that. If you really wish you can go around three times but I personally think two is enough. So I'm going back and then I've got the crystal again. Just make sure you catch that fifth bead as, again as you're coming out and bring your thread right through and then I'm on to the last four here. As I'm showing you this example there aren't the uh, drops on this one but it makes it a bit easier for me to show you how to do the half hitch knot as well. So I make sure the tension's all perfect for that one and then I'm going to take that back through with the embellishments it actually hides the half hitch knot when you finish a lot better as well so you can't see it when you've finished on this one so we're going to go back through a few so you'd go through your three seed beads there and we're going to come up and through so through any beads that are on there and in order to create our half hitch knot, I'm just going to get to a section which is a bit more visible. So I've come out with my thread, so you'd go through the beads you need, and then when you get to a middle section, so one of the loop overs between the tillers, you're just going to take your thread underneath, so I've gone under the loop there, and you will notice, and I'm going to put my finger there to show you, so this is the loop of fire line. That I've just created yeah and we're going to create a basic knot but you want to make sure that's sat nice and close so you might just need to use a, a needle to guide that in and obviously we create our knot push that down and then if you go through your seeds and the tiller it'll bring that really tight and I would probably continue and do another two of those knots so that you're really satisfied that it's been secured. So I'd go through that section now. Through my loop. Pulling it in tight. And really getting that secure before going back up through one of my tillers. And at that point you can cut away your excess thread. I'm quite convinced that one won't come out. And then using your precision scissors, we're just gonna trim that excess away. So it gives you your fastening there. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon. Give us a thumbs up, and let us know any feedback or comments and if there's a particular project you'd like to see us make let us know we'd like to hear from you bye